Good morning, class. This is Mr. Zachary Zarukian. Today we're going to do dynamic stretching. Remember, dynamic stretching is very beneficial when we do a warm up. Uh, studies show that dynamic stretching is much more beneficial than static stretching. Studies have shown that in static stretching, that our body is weakened for the next 30 minutes. So if you're playing a soccer game, a hockey game, a lacrosse game, you do not want to do static stretching before because your body won't be as prepared and you won't be at max performance. So to make sure that we are prepared, make sure we are at max performance, we're going to do some dynamic stretching to get ourselves ready today. Dynamic stretching is the art of moving while we stretch. So today we're going to be moving a little bit more than we were in our other dynamic stretching videos. Uh, I'm a little limited on space here in this gym. You might have a little bit more space than me. But everyone just do the best with what you have. So for our first one, you're going to start about, you're going to go about three to five yards in each of these. You're going to take one step. You're going to grab your knee and you're going to bring it up to your chest. Kind of similar to what we did in dynamic stretching video number two. But here we are stepping and we're moving a little bit more. So I'm going to step and move. I'm going to step, grab my knee, bring it up. And then we get to the end. I don't have a lot of space, but you can jog it out. You're going to do it back. Same thing, grab your knee, bring it up, take a step. Same thing, grab your knee, take a step, bring it up. Like I said, we'll limit space and we get to the end. I would just suggest you jog it out a little bit and just get a little bit loose. All right, for this next one, I'm gonna stretch my quad. So for here, grab my ankle, you can do it with one or two hands. Grab and take a step. Grab your quad, take a step. So now we are stretching and moving. This is the art of dynamic stretching. And when you get to the end of all of these, I'm a little in of space, so I can't do this, but you're gonna jog it out. So same thing, stretching our quad right now. Grab our quad, stretch it, take a step. Grab our quad, take it, take a step. And at the end, you always wanna give out a little jog. All right, for our next one, we're gonna stretch our hips. We're gonna take a step. Bring your hip up and out. Take a step, bring your hip forward and out. Take a step forward, bring your hips up and out. This is stretching out our pelvis, stretching out our hip flexors, very important. All athletes use their hip muscles. Um, it's a very common injury. It's not an area that a lot of athletes stretch, so it's really important that we stretch our hips. All right, so you saw in that last one, I was going forward and bringing my hips out. For this one, I'm gonna bring my hip to the side and forward, so this motion is different. I'm bringing my hip to the side and forward. In the last one, we were going forward and back. This one, we're opening up and bringing forward. I know these look a little bit funny, but really good. Stretch our hip, gets us loose. Make sure, always at the end, when you get to the stretch, you just wanna get a little jog, get a little loose, and get a little warmed up going. All right, for our next one, these are gonna stretch our hamstring muscles. These are called Frankensteins. And when we do, we're gonna put our arms forward and you're gonna kick. And these are called Frankensteins. And these stretch our hamstrings and these get us loose. And these are very beneficial. And you're doing the Frankenstein walk, like the monster, or maybe he's the scientist. And you're getting forward and you're getting up. And then you're gonna give a little jog at the end. All right, for our next one, we're gonna do lunges. So it's gonna be a little bit tougher. Everything we're doing here has a progression. Uh, more of the exercises we did in the beginning are a little bit easier. We're going to exercise at the end are much more challenging. So for this, I'm gonna step, lunge, get down, and I would get my back knee down. Try to keep our chest up, chest forward, and step. This one, you might need about seven to 10 yards. I probably got three to five yards in here. Make sure you give it a little jog at the end. Really step, and this is really good. Uh, involves a lot of body control. All right, so the next step after that lunge is we're gonna lunge and we're gonna twist. Same thing, lunge, add a twist, and you give even a little jog at the end. We're gonna lunge, give a little twist, lunge, give a little twist. All right, class. So that's our dynamic stretching for today. Everyone did a really good job. Uh, make sure to cool down, drink water, and always do dynamic stretch at the end. If you want, you can do a static stretch at the end or static stretching on your own to improve flexibility, but please never do any static stretching before any physical activity. 
And that's everybody here instruction for your class. Thanks.